Guys, my name is Ankush Kaurav and I welcome you to Contu series. This tutorial is in continuation with the earlier one where we learned how to support multiple languages with the help of a very simple requirement in this demo application. So overall what we did, we wanted to support two languages, English and French for this GSP page. And to do so, first we replaced all hardwired English labels with their corresponding placeholders in this GSP page. And then we put their respective English values in this properties file. And then we put their respective French values in this properties file. So after making all these changes, now when the user provides here French as his preferred language over English, The content of the web page is shown in French language and if we choose here English or French the content of the web page is shown in English and all this we learned in detail in the previous tutorial now let's proceed further guys whatever solution we provided in the previous tutorial to support multiple languages has a little problem associated with it the problem is what if after getting this web page, user again wants to change the language without changing it through language preference settings of the browser. So question is how to do that. To tackle such a requirement, what I'll do, I'll place two links, English and French on top of this web page, such that after getting this web page, if user clicks on English link, then the same content of the web page is shown in English language to him. And if he clicks on French, then the same content would be shown in French language to him. Now, big question is what tasks I need to perform to make this happen? Guys, to do so, I just need to perform these three simple steps and I'll be done. Let me very quickly make all these changes in the application and later I would explain in detail what exactly these three steps mean so first step is to place english and uh, french link on top of admission form dot gsp page and second changes in the springs configuration file register an interceptor with the name local change interceptor means this one so here i've included this and third change is to put an entry of uh, a bean with the name cookie local resolver means this one cool so here i'm done with making all these three changes in the application let us do one thing let us quickly test this on the browser and later i would explain everything in detail guys to reflect all the changes which we have just made in the springs configuration file if we got to restart the server so let us restart it cool so now server is restarted let us see on the browser cool so here it's showing me two links english and french on top of this web page let's see what happens when i click on these links cool when i click on french it's displaying whole content of this web page in french language and when I click on English, it's displaying in English language. Now let's understand what exactly these three steps mean, what I performed in this demo application. First step which I performed here was to include English and French links on top of admission form.gsp page, means these two links. If you observe here with English link, I am here passing a parameter with the name site language equals en and with french link i'm passing site language equals fr now what happens when i click on any of these two links here when i click here any of these two links this web page again requests for itself and along with that request it uh, sends a parameter with the name site language to the server and here, before processing the request, 
this locale change interceptor, you know, whatever we registered here in the second step, extracts the value of this parameter site language and accordingly informs the application to pick an appropriate properties file while framing the response object. So when I click here French link, I send a parameter with the name site language equals fr to the server and here locale change interceptor extracts the value of site language as fr and informs the application to pick student messages underscore fr dot properties while framing the response object for that request and as a result when i click here you know on french i get the web page in french language and same is the case with english link guys i'm sure you're gonna ask me a question here to tackle this specific requirement in the demo I just needed to perform first two steps. So what was the need of performing third step? Means why I put an entry of cookie locale resolver bean here in the Spring scanification file. And the concept is when you use locale change interceptor, it's mandatory to put an entry of cookie locale resolver bean in the Spring scanification file. Otherwise it won't work. That's the concept. Yes, in addition to this, this bean serves one more purpose and that's what I've described over here on the screen. Please go through it and if you find any difficulty understanding it, please put all your queries in the comment section below and I'll try to resolve all those as early as possible. All right, guys, a big thank you for learning Spring Embassy with me. If you have any feedback or comments, please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email ID for all of your queries. Please hit the like button if you really liked it and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Gone2Series and I'm gonna catch you in the next tutorial.